The challenge this week was to create a master board utilizing a magazine. If you want to join me in these challenges, hop on over to my Facebook group. The link is in the description. Made the master board out of a magazine, created an envelope and a tag. There was just enough to create both out of that master board. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe to my channel. And of course, the notification bell lets you know when I upload additional content. So to get started on this challenge, I chose a picture out of a magazine and just plopped. It's a picture of a woman in a bright green hat and a pink suit and I plopped a stencil over the top of her and now I'm just removing some of the color with nail polish and I'm removing the color in the spots where the stencil is not covering. So you can see I'm utilizing a baby wipe, a little bit of nail polish, open your window smell is powerful. And this is what happens when you remove or move that color around. And there's our beginning. I'm also going to take this image out of the magazine and spread some color or move some color around on it. And I, when I was choosing magazine pages, I was choosing very vibrant colors, bright colors, things that I thought would move well. And I'm just going to glue this magazine page down to a piece of cardstock, and I'm going to use that as my substrate for this master board. I'm going to tear around this image here. And I thought about putting it on the master board, but I think I have a, another idea that I'd like to use that for. So let's get the gel press out and coat it with a fine coat of white paint. I'm using acrylic paint. And I just want to remove some of that color so we just have what is lying underneath the stencil on the gel press. And I'm going to pull that with a light pink because I think a little bit of light pink on this magazine would look good. And there, you can kind of see faintly the white, but you also have that light pink that kind of covered the entire image. And now I just want to add some additional white. And I have this stencil that I'm just going to randomly move about on the press. And then we'll get some good strong white over that magazine page. We'll let that dry. I'm just cleaning up my gel press to set it aside. And once that has dried to the touch, I'm pulling the raw umber, utilizing the same stencil and just stenciling randomly across the master board. And I like to go in odd numbers. So there's four, five, six. And we need to get one more. So there's there's the odd number. Oh, and I broke my rule. I put another one down. So there's eight. So now we're gonna going to spray with some Distress ink through a second stencil. And I think a bright, brighter color would look good on here. So I've chosen this turquoisey green. I'm going to dot that. And now a strong, dark black.
there. I think it's starting to take shape. And I just want to splatter. So I've put a dollop of white acrylic paint on the side and thinned it out with a spray of water. And now to just put some dots in an organized manner with a Posca pen in white. And there's one that kind of spread on me, so I'm going to wipe that up real quick before it dries. And I think we'll call that finish. So there is the masterboard. Now to create something out of it, I'm going to make a, a square, an eight and a half by eight and a half square. I'm going to mark four and a half inches or four and a quarter inches on each side. So you want half that your mark at the halfway point, which would be four and a quarter. And now I'm just going to connect those and fold it upward. And this is what is going to form an envelope. So it's a real simple way to make a quick, quick envelope. So there. Let's just reform those lines. And now that second image where we remove some of the ink we'll use as the inside of the envelope or the piece of the envelope that will show the flap. When you open it up you'll see this lady with the removal of some of the color. Let's just trim that up. And I didn't <clears throat> excuse me, I didn't position her just just right. So I had to put a little little piece there at the top and we'll add some color on each side where it will show. And we'll get this glued down, <clears throat> trimmed up, and then we'll glue our envelope. I'm going to just do a quick dry with the heat gun. Now let's fold it and glue it. I just want to retrain that fold. I think I want to move it down just a bit. And I'm happy with where that is, so I'm just going to square that off. Retrain this fold. Hit it with my bone folder. And I think we're good to glow. So there, <clears throat> there's a little envelope you can use to tuck down inside your journal. You use it to send off with pieces of ephemera in it. Now let's flip this over and create a little spot. If you want to actually mail it, let's get a little spot to put in an address. I started with a little square. I don't think that looks that great. So I'm going to cut a rectangular piece. And I think that looks better. So we'll glue that down. I'm going to pull out some liquid pearls and just Decorate that a bit. I 
I'm going to go up the side here and my impatience actually smeared these in a, in a later spot in this video and I decided to wipe them off and and stencil there but the first intent was to put some dots down the one side of the envelope and I also decide that isn't quite enough so I pulled the stencil out and you can see up in the top where I have my brush laying I move that um, envelope and and the brush smears those top dots See right there <laughs> so we'll just wipe those off we'll stencil here on the top of this and then we'll turn it around and stencil right on this edge of that envelope and I'm using that pale pink or that portrait pink to stencil there we'll let that dry and while that's drying, we'll use the <clears throat> piece that we cut off to create our square to create a tag. I'm just going to trim it up first. Cut it down to a 6 inch length. After we get the right corner here, and I just created a little template out of a playing card, so I have that uniform. And we want six inches. And we'll put our hole in here. And I think I'm going to utilize a book page to put on the back of this. And I'm just going to glue it down, trim it up. Repinch the hole. And we'll take that same stencil in that pink and stencil over top of the book page. Tie a little sari silk into the hole. Take the crocodile and just put a slight turn on the bottom around those corners. And I think that makes a pretty interesting little tag. So here's the envelope. And the tag. And I think we will call that complete for this Masterboard project for this week. And once again, if you want to join us, the link to my Facebook group is in the description below. And as you can see, I'm just taking the ink that I had left over and spreading it out across my work paper because I also use those to create things. So here is the completed masterboard, the envelope that was made from the masterboard. The opening of the envelope also has some of the magazine pages altered with the nail polish remover. And that completes Challenge Week 2 in Masterboards. Again, my name is Peg and the channel, Two Old Crows Mixed Media. Thank you for those that already subscribe. Please hit that subscribe button if you hadn't haven't, and I always enjoy your comments. Bye for now.